Hello crafters! This is Suzanne for Cat Scrappiness and I am here with a card share. This card is a Valentine theme card. It could also be just sending somebody saying sending my love so it could be more than just Valentine's only but I made a shaker. Let's take a look at what goodies I used to make this fun card. Let's get started. So this card front is the Sunray backdrop die. This is an A2 card front, meaning it is exactly four and a quarter inch wide, five and a half inch tall. So this is edge to edge A2 out the gate. You can use it flat, one layer, or you can pop it up with some foam and make it a uh, three dimensional like I did here with the shaky bits. Now with the shaky bits, as you can see, I decided to play with it. You don't have to play with it. You can keep every color in each section the same pattern or the same if you use glitter cardstock or just cardstock here i am alternating between pattern paper and solid cardstock having fun with this and when you do cut it out there is a cut line for each section and it's easy to lay back in and i even used i believe this is foam board that i cut this with cut through no problem by using a foam board I didn't have to fuss about with layers of individual foam tape and all that. It just came out as one big piece with the foam board. So that's nice. <laughs> so the pattern paper I'm using is from last year. The Cute, Just In Time For Spring, the Spring Fling 6x8 paper pack. I used this pattern here with the hearts in the black with the flowers. I think that's so pretty. Then I picked out the shade of green which picks up on the florals and also the cute little avocados so we got spring fling sun ray then the avocados is the happily avo after die set the outside of the avocado that measures two and five eighths of an inch by two inch and then the inside that's these two pieces and then the face cuts out you just pop it back in i cut it out with black cardstock then we get this embossed part and there's a heart. I'll put the release video here because this is part of the new release, these two items, okay? So you can take a peek at that if you wanna see everything that's in this awesome Valentine themed release. So here is the little, just one is smiling that way and one is smiling this way. You could use one, you could use two, have fun with it. You also get that heart that pops back in and then extra hearts but seeing that i already have all these wonderful shaky bits i didn't use the extra hearts but you could next i use one of cat's amazing word dies sending my love there you go so cute comes together very easily cuts super well even through all that glitter cardstock but the last time i showed you guys this card this was what i did for the release see how this is a very green avocado now <laughs> so it was bothering me so I decided to go back into it and try it again because the inside of an avocado is sort of a yellowy green, but not just true yellow. So what I did, I took this banana lemon yellow cardstock from my stash and then I took some inks, dye inks that are in the lime green color family. Because I'm using a glass mat, I just smoosh my ink, then take a blending brush and gently went on it. And I think this looks better than that. I really don't have any cardstock that's like this. Most cardstock is going to be solid and saturated. So I, I made my own color is what I'm trying to say. But this is where I started off with. So it's not a super bright yellow, but it's more of this banana yellow. Now that I made this, this is looking super green. So this is a young avocado. <laughs> this is a ripe avocado. <laughs> but loving them both. Um, here I used on the first one, I think it was Hop Into Easter Paper Pack this time spring fling and i like how with the sun ray dye when i had cut it out seeing that it's that full frame with the cut line and the stitch detail i just put it back on top and i like the pattern on pattern normally you know we'll do this in a solid color but this time i kind of like the pattern on pattern because i have so much solid going here i think it works out well and then the shaky bits and i did put in those dots to give that sound to the recipient, okay? And it's on a 110 pound cardstock base. So it opens up like so. Now let's talk about the shaky bits. I didn't put anything on the outside because there's so much going on here and the pattern and the sentiment and this, I didn't think it needed anything else. But on the inside, I have soft yellow confetti sprinkles, 
per glass dot. If you want your shaker to have sound, this is the set, and there are many colors in this dot set. I'm going to put a link for everything below, but I'll put a general link for the confetti sprinkles, and you can look at all the colors. The dots, you can look at all the colors. And also, I'll put a general embellishment link as well, so you can look at everything, because Kat has an extensive line of all sorts of shaky goodness. She also has this one, Walking on Sunshine. Love. It has like small sequins in white, clear, and then yellow, and then some sprinkle bits. So that's in here as well, and all three are playing together. But if you want your shaker card to have that sound, add some of the dots to it, okay? If not, it'll have some sound, but it's not going to have the fun sound. So if you're going to make like birthday cards or something, then I would highly recommend getting some of the dots for that. And this would be great too. I was thinking happy birthday, but then I had the love and I was like, okay, sending my love. But I could have done this happy birthday too against this wonderful frame here. Now this sunray frame can be used for anything, which is great. <laughs> just anything, just you're only limited by your imagination. <laughs> Cause I could have used it here too with this background with the florals and it would have looked a different way, you know? Could have been for summer too with those colors as well. Alrighty crafters, I just wanted to hop on real quick and show you my cat scrappiness card share and join the happily Avo after die set and showing you that I, when you're not sure, go back in and try it again and it'll come to you. So I like this colorway better. I think this is more of avocado. <laughs> Alrighty crafters, until the next video, stay crafty my friends. Bye.